What's up YouTube? It's your boy Kevin and today we're gonna do a quick um, tutorial on how to install Minecraft VR on your Oculus Go. So you're gonna need a couple things before I get started. You're gonna need an Xbox X controller or any compatible um, Bluetooth controller that you can find that will work on your um, Oculus Go. Other than that, that's pretty much that and a computer to install the uh, software. So you're gonna need to first do is go to um, the Oculus developer, I'm going to leave the links in the description down below. This link will basically give you a step-by-step -step on how to become a developer because that's what you're going to need to do to be able to run it uh, Minecraft. After that, you're going to want to go onto your mobile Oculus app. You're going to want to go to um, pairing, pair your Oculus, go to it. And then there's going to be a click an option that says more. And then you're going to want to turn on developer mode. Once you got that developer mode on, basically right here the toggle developer mode on yeah so go through that then you're gonna want to go to this website again it will be the description down below you're gonna want to download the ADB links this is how you're going to install the um, the side loaded apps so install whatever version that you need either Windows or Mac or Linux after that you're gonna want to go and download the Kodi so you're basically just gonna scroll down to here and you're gonna want to download either the um, you're gonna want to download the Android version so download that and once you got that downloaded go to the um, APT uh, this app store right here it's basically an alternate app store compared to uh, Google Play Store so download this once you get that all downloaded you're gonna want to go in make sure this is installed open it up and it's basically gonna show you something like this Right now my Oculus is not connected to my computer so I can't really show you. But if you don't turn, toggle that developer mode on, your, your Oculus Go will not show up on your. But remember, when you put it onto your computer, you have to make sure you go and put your headset on and click uh, allow the, it basically allows it so you can connect it to your computer. Make sure you put that on and then it'll appear on here. If it doesn't appear, close it and open it re again and it should appear on there. You're going to want to go to where it says install APK and you're going to want to install your Kodi and that alternate app store. Once you get at the, once you get that all installed on here, we're going to head over to the PC or to the uh... All right. Now, once you're on your Oculus Go, you're going to want to go to your Oculus TV app. Once you're on the Oculus TV app, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and kind of scroll over to where it says um, to Kodi. Make sure you open up Kodi. And basically everything you need to know is inside this app. This app is gonna be your golden app inside this app. Inside the Oculus TV app, Kodi's gonna be your best friend. It's gonna be kinda of acting weird for me because I am recording the screen so it's kinda of sluggish. So bear with me, it's gonna close out and in and out. But I could probably, would be easier for me just to tell you what to do because it never really wants to work when I'm recording the screen. I don't know why it gets, I think it's just too many apps instead of apps, but you're going to want to go over here to where it says add-ons. Once you're in add-ons, you want to go to uh, Android apps, click on Android apps, and then you're going to want to go to um, your settings. Look for your settings really quick. This should be in here unless I passed it. I'm pretty sure I passed it. The best way to scroll through this is kind of point your Oculus controller up to the ceiling and then kind of move your thing down. If you have it pointing at the screen, it'll just make it go crazy. So point it at the ceiling and just kind of scroll until you see your settings apps. There we go. Right over here. I got two because I actually made a shortcut. If you guys want to see a video on how to make shortcuts to have it on your Oculus home screen or not home screen, but your Oculus uh, TV on the bottom. I have them all laid out on my favorite apps. Okay, so once you're in this right here, you're gonna want to scroll all the way down to where it says I think it's privacy or security. I forget which one. Or maybe it's accessibility. Let's check accessibility first. No, nope, it's not this one. You're gonna want to go to security. Once you're in security, yeah, scroll all the way down, basically the same way pointed up, and you're gonna to wanna to go to unknown sources. Once you find this, click toggle that on. 
Once you've done that, you pretty much set on that end. Kind of want to exit that, and then you're going to want to find that alternate app store that we told you guys to download. It's going to be all the way. Oops. It's going to be right over here. Right there. Click on that, and it should open up. When you're in this alternate app store, it might look a little different from you. It's because mine updated through the app store. So you're going to want to go right into here. And you're going to want to type in Minecraft VR. Once you look that up, it's going to be right over here. You're going to want to click install. Click install right over here. Is that the right one? Because there's supposed to be two. Oh, right over here. You're going to want to click on the Gear VR version. Click install on the Gear VR, and then it's going to download. And as soon as you click download, it'll. as soon as it's done installing, it's going to pop up with the white screen right in your face. You're not going to be able to see anything. This is where you're going to need the Xbox, uh, Xbox S controller because you're going to want to make sure that's paired to your to your phone so it's turned on and the light is nice and solid and you're going to want to basically with your uh, analog you're going to want to uh, move it over to your right you're going to kind of click right and it's going to click install i'll show you a quick example with it i'll download the minecraft just the normal pocket edition version just so i can show you an example because it's hard to describe until you see it hopefully this one downloads quick uh da, 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 da. come on come on it's basically just gonna pop up with the screen it's gonna be it's probably gonna look like it's a full-on screen you're not gonna be able to see you're gonna close one eye and you're gonna see like one letter and close it you're gonna open up the other one you're gonna see the other half of the screen you're gonna want to toggle it over and it's gonna click you click um the a button and it's gonna basically install it and then you're gonna click over again and it's gonna open up and you're gonna be in the vr environment let's see come on you probably understand what I mean. I'm just showing you an example so you can understand. It's kind of complicated, but not complicated. That's, that you're not going to be able to install it without the Xbox controller or another type of wireless Bluetooth controller. So as soon as this finishes, it's going to pop up with the screen. It's going to look really weird for you the first time you see this once you get used to. Also, with this alternate app store, you can download any of these apps they're not going to guarantee to work. Don't try to download any heavy duty apps there. See right here, this screen is what you're going to see. It's going to look kind of weird. You're basically with your controller, you're going to, with your analog, you're going to move it right and click. Oh, my controller is off. I feel dumb. And it's on. You're going to hear a click with your headset. Once you hear the click, you're going to want to click that and you're going to see the little progress bar. That means it's, it, it's installing. And once it's fully installed, you're gonna click over and it should launch Minecraft. Um, sometimes it's gonna pop up in this like full on like view. You're just gonna wanna click the Xbox. Uh, con you're gonna wanna click the Xbox um, home button, click it over and over again until you kinda and then you don't want to get on your controller. Let's go back, back, back. Let's kind of put me back in the... Let's head back all the way back to where we're in here. Now that we're in here, I think we should be... Like, that's... You guys get the point. You guys can do that once you guys go back home. Once you're in this home right here, you're going to want to go to your library. That's after you get the whole app, the uh, Gear VR version installed. You're going to go here to Unknown Sources. And then right here is going to be the game. You're going to want to click on it. And it's going to be black for like a good, good 10, 15 seconds. And once it's started, you're going to want to basically see this. You're going to want to click on the letter X. And here you go. You're basically in Minecraft VR. You can basically start playing if you really do decide to. I got my world on here. And yeah, guys, if you guys want to play, you download it, do the instructions basically just how I said. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. 
And please remember guys to like and subscribe on the video for more content. Let me know what you guys want to see. And yeah, bye.